of DPO. I went to the pharmacy this morning real quick to get some digitals because I figured I might as well just have them on hand. Um, I dipped one about 30 minutes ago. I haven't looked at it yet. It's face down up there, but then I had to get my baby out of the high chair and I fed him a super messy breakfast. So I had to shower him. Let's get into this video while the, those tests process. Siri, set the alarm for five minutes. So I actually had debated testing today. I wasn't going to um, because I am convinced. I am logically and reasonably convinced that what I saw yesterday was just a combination of indents and evaps. I know not to trust the wand foe because, and I'll, I'll put a picture here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the wand foe, you can clearly see the like super dark indents of both the test line and the control line on a test that hasn't even been dipped yet. So I know not to just trust weird shadow lines that I see on that, but when I see it in combination with another test, especially easy at home, because I've not really had issues with those in the past, it kind of had me wondering, but, um, and, and I'm, thank you for the validation for you guys, like those of you who saw the lines. I was shocked to see so many people say that they saw what I saw because I was like, there's no way. There's no way anyone's gonna see this, especially with the loss of detail and clarity because I use my phone first of all to record so like first of all there's that like that's not professional quality videography um, equipment here and then I upload it into InShot I edit my videos I, I export it off of InShot back into my camera roll then I upload it onto the YouTube app and in that whole process the d d just the quality goes to shit you know and when I was watching back the video that I uploaded yesterday on the YouTube platform I couldn't see anything at the very end of that video I'm showing you guys my dried test and I was comparing it to the faint lines I had last cycle and I'm like I know you guys can see this line because I can clearly see it. Like through my viewfinder, I could clearly see it. When I watched the video back yesterday, I couldn't see like anything. The quality just really got lost. So I'm, I'm thankful that you guys all have very seasoned line eyes <laughs> so you could see what I was talking about. Anyway, even with all that said, I've been going back and looking at those tests several times throughout the past 24 hours, and I'm like, no, nah, this, this is just no way. Plus, I hadn't been feeling pregnant. The only reason, there's two reasons actually, so the two reasons why I'm testing this morning are number one, I feel like I owe it to you guys now because I can't just leave that video as a cliffhanger and not have it have a follow-up because I had planned to just watch and see what my basal body temperature chart does, see what my resting heart rate does. I had expected to see a drop in my Apple Watch today. It might not come until tomorrow. I had also expected to see a drop in my resting heart rate because that's usually what happens in cycles I don't conceive is around this time my heart rate drops. But here's what my chart looked like this morning. So first of all, my Fitbit app, I take my resting heart rate every morning, but then by the end of the day, it tends to revise it by like one beat per minute or so. So yesterday when I took the snapshot of my chart in the morning of 11 DPO, my resting heart rate had dropped by two full beats per minute. So I think it had went down to like 58 beats per minute or something like that. And, um, but when I went to get my screenshot this morning, it had revised yesterday's to 59. So that, that dip wasn't too bad. And then it's now back up again today. I didn't expect that. I expected to see it drop more today. So I'm like, oh, okay. And then my Apple Watch temps are all up by like a fair margin. My regular internal basal body temperature is up by a fair margin. I also didn't sleep with the heating pad at all last night and my temperatures are up. So I don't know, I don't know. But I thought that was interesting enough. Oh, and one other thing. I, for the first time this whole cycle, got night sweats and vivid dreams last night. I actually haven't had them at all. Last night, I dreamt of pregnancy tests. <laughs> and I also dreamt of like the active decision of getting pregnant and having a baby. I dreamt that I was like gonna have a baby or there was going to soon be a baby. And I, I dreamt that I was, um, my alarm is, is done. I dreamt that I was 
talking to an ex-boyfriend's sister and we had just our whole collection of pregnancy tests at, on the table at a bar and we're like trying to learn how to organize them and tape them into our books. So I don't know, I didn't necessarily dream that I got a positive pregnancy test, but I did dream about them. So who knows? These are very likely going to be negative. So we will just grab them one at a time, take a look at them. I have the digital dipped up there for shits and giggles. I gotta be quiet now. My husband just came in. Let's look at the easy at home first. So here it is. Now this is totally negative. I mean, I see a line. I see the same line I saw yesterday. That's just got to be the end end. I'm really disappointed in these tests. And some of you also said in the comments that you were also having major issues with indents and evaps with these tests. So maybe I didn't get a bad batch. Maybe this is just, this is just how they are now. I see the same line, for a lack of a better word, as I did yesterday on these. If it was real, it would have been darker. And now we have the wand foe. Yeah, same situation. I totally see, I totally see a second line, but it must just be the indent. It'll be interesting to see what the digital says. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys, try to take pictures, try to take video while these are still fresh. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. I, I can see it from, with my naked eye, especially the wand foe to the line. Do you see that? The problem is, is I can see it clearly, but by the time I upload it and download it and re-upload it, you guys aren't gonna be able to see that. Easy at home, you can see it right there. The packaging is touching it. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to dip an OBK. I gotta do that too. The dice still seems to be running. Just realized I hadn't had my camera up at my mouth. The dice still seems to be running on that easy at home, but I can see two lines on those tests clearly. I don't know if you guys can but they're certainly not any darker than they were yesterday, so that's not anything promising. All right, guys, let's just rip the Band-Aid off and go check the ditch. We have company. <laughs> ah! Aga, aga, gu, gu, gu. He is a mess. We're covered in milk. And that, that mayhem I heard in the background was him having gotten a hold of a jar of peanut butter. Well, let's see. There it is. I don't know which way it's facing. So we'll do it this way. We'll do it that way. Ready? I give up. I just feel like it's my egg quality. I feel like it's age and egg quality issues. That that is my only explanation. Oi. I mean, obviously this is going nowhere healthy. I don't even feel sad about it to be honest because there's not even any hope in this line. It's so faint. It's just as faint as it was yesterday. I mean, it is technically a little, it is technically much more visible today than it was yesterday. And there does seem to be, like I can see color in this line. If these lines were darker, I would have been stoked, but sorry, this is just, God, I mean, it's like all these videos I keep putting up are such bummers. I don't even think I'm going to tell my husband about this one. Okay, it's a little while later. My tests are dried, they're in my booklet, and I wanna show you guys what they look like now. I wanna show you what my OPK looks like. 
um, just to sort of close that out. I also want to apologize. I've um, been putting the footage together to release this video because I'm going to just publish this today. I'm not going to wait for 13, 14, 15 DPO. If something actually miraculously does develop in these tests, I mean, like I said in my last video, I'm not God. I don't know what's going to happen. If something happens, I will come back and publish something in a few days is time, but this is all very exhausting to me. Like right now in this moment, I just, it's just a big bummer, you know, and maybe I'm being terminally negative, but I like to call it being realistic. And like I said, in last cycle, I've been here before. I just, this is just how it goes for me when I have early losses. And to be honest, I don't know. Like, what if the digital was wrong? I don't know. I don't trust anything. These lines, like, nothing is compelling in any of this. So, like, I'm not going to let this situation affect my happy mental place, especially after going through what I went through last cycle. I'm in such a good place right now, and I feel fine. <laughs> so, like, obviously I'm not as emotionally affected this time as I was last month. So who knows? Who knows? We'll see what happens. If something does happen, I will come back here. Otherwise, it'll just be on to a new cycle. And I can't even tell you guys if we're going to try next cycle. It's like I said, it's going to be one of those things where we're going to not not try. So I don't know what the future has in store for me, both short term, medium term, long term, whatever. But I did just want to pop on and say this is where the video is going to end. I'm just going to put it up now because I feel like I owe it to you guys. I am not a clickbait type of person. <laughs> That's just not what I do here. And I feel like the cliffhanger video I put up yesterday was a bit much. <laughs> so here you go. This is how it is. But let me turn the camera around and just show you guys what I have here. Okay, guys, this is my OPK line progression so far. I gotta make this quick because my son is awake now, but these top two ones were from cycle day 11 and this is when I got my first positive. And then it just kind of goes on and on. I feel like they got the lightest here between seven and eight DPO and then they've just gradually incrementally gotten a bit darker and darker for each day after that, um, as you can see there. And then for my wand foes let's see the lighting is not so great isn't it let me turn around real quick here are my wand foe tests and i feel like if i zoom in maybe you can see that this line it's like right there i don't know what you guys can see the line today is i mean these tests are dried now by four hours but i feel like that line is visible to the naked eye i can see it through the viewfinder but the quality of this video is probably going to get butchered when I um, export it from InShot and upload it into YouTube, so maybe you guys aren't going to be able to see anything. But the line is right there. Anyway, that's that. It's hardly noticeable, like hardly visible at all. And then these are my easy at homes, which I can see these lines clearly, but again, the quality might get butchered. Here's the line I saw yesterday. And then here it is today. Who knows? Miracles could happen. Then again, you can see an EVAP here and here. I don't see anything on this 10 DPO test. Tell me if you guys can see that. Let's see if I can like, get better lighting. Do you guys see that? Anyway, those were the lines I got this time around. They just look like evaps, to be honest. If I hadn't taken that stupid digital, let me get this out of my mouth. If I hadn't taken that stupid digital, I would have been chill to just think we didn't succeed this time. I should have not taken that digital. <sighs> Anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to check out for this one. Thank you for watching and yeah, we, we will talk soon. Okay, bye.